We were recently joined by Dr. Jessica Nucci, who spoke to us about the science behind DNA, DNA damage and repair, and XP. And today, we're joined by Dr. Pilar Bilbao, Head of Clinical Operations at Clinavel, where she'll be giving a further explanation on the programme. So, welcome. Thank you very much. After the explanation on the scientific details of the programme, uh, as the Head of uh, Operations of the DNA Repair Programme, I would like to give a bit more detail on, the, on what we are trying to do uh, with, uh, with the programme. So, thank you. So how did it all start? So in drug development, you first need capable physicians, you need academics with certain expertise, and patients who want to participate in clinical trials. Everything started in 2020 where, with one cellular pigmentosum patient, and we've just released the, the first XPC results on the 16th of January, and then on the 2nd of February, we, we released the first results from the healthy volunteers. What is the global relevance of the programme? So we are assessing the influence of the drug on the damage incurred by solar radiation, specifically UVB. In our worldwide programme, um, the skin cells show typical damage expressed in TT, TC and CC dimers, so timidine, cytosine bonds. So at all costs, we are trying to repair the breakages. Uh, when cells are multiplied, if they have these errors, then they, they will cause mutations. And in skin cell um, carcinomas and melanomas, uh, these uh, single strand lesions are found. So if you can imagine a tree uh, and its roots, what we're trying to do is uh, cut the problem from its roots. We are stopping the oxygen so that uh, the, it does not become a shoot. So that basically it does not uh, become a skin cancer uh, further along the way. So this approach, in all modesty, um, what we're trying to do is early prevention and elimination of the damage before it replicates. So this is revolutionary. Uh, we are evaluating a group who frequently and predictably develop skin cancers due to photoproducts. What's the significance of this revolutionary work that you're doing and what are the results? So this is a big deal because uh, it's the first time that we have seen that afamelanotide can reduce the damage in XP patients when subjected to UVB light uh, from 4.5% to 48%. Can you go into a bit more detail about the results? We looked at melanin density, or the so-called tannin effect, and it was increased in all three XPC patients and in all the uh, nine health volunteers. Melanin acts as a photoprotective barrier for skin. It absorbs UV and um, high-energy uh, visible light, and thereby it increases the body's natural defence. Something else that we looked at is erythema. Under standard laboratory conditions, we use controlled light sources. Um, we simulated solar radiation and created a little bit of damage in the skin by irradiating patients and the volunteers. And we tested their skin's visual response following UVB exposure. We found reduced erythema in XP patients and in healthy volunteers, which points to the barrier uh, that is offered by afamelanotide, importantly increasing the tolerance to light without causing erythema or burning. So what can we conclude? Well, we only have the results from three XPC patients uh, and the healthy volunteers, but the combination of the analysis strongly indicate that afamelanotide offers genomic protection by assisted DNA repair and systemic photoprotection. It's very difficult not to get excited by the first worldwide human study in XP with afamelanotide and the first results from the healthy volunteers using systemic afamelanotide. So let's continue. Those results sound really promising. And thank you so much for taking the time to sit with me today. Really appreciate it. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you.